Hey guys, so what is going on in this video? We're going to be taking a look at the iPad Pro Magic Keyboard. So this Magic Keyboard is designed for the iPad Pro models 2018 and 2020. It will fit both. So I do have my 2020 iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the Wi-Fi and cellular built in. So I just wanted to give my iPad kind of like a laptop vibe because I do use it pretty much every single day over my MacBook. The only thing I use my MacBook for anymore is just to edit videos on and upload the videos because I do not have Wi-Fi at my house. So the Wi-Fi and cellular iPad does come in handy. So with that being said, I just wanted to have something to type on and be able to use as a trackpad that is always connected to the internet. So anyway, let's go ahead and crack it open and take a look at the Magic Keyboard. It is a full-size keyboard for the iPad Pro and it retails for $349. So let's go ahead and crack it open. So before I open it, you just get a picture of the device on the front and on the back, it does demonstrate some of the different viewing angles. You do get two viewing angles with this magic keyboard and then you can close it up like a book to protect your iPad a little bit. And then down here, it just says it includes the magic keyboard itself. So no cables, no chargers or anything in the box. It should just be the keyboard itself in the box. And then also you do get what it's compatible with. Of course, they do make it with the 11 inch one as well and the 12.9 with my iPad is 12.9 one. So I did get the 12.9 inch one. And on the top, they do have a nice little pull tab, like all Apple devices now that you could just pull and open up the device with. So let's go ahead and pull that tab and open up the box. And it should just slide out like any other Apple box. So putting the box lid aside, you are presented with the Magic Keyboard itself, and that's the only thing that's going to be in the box part of the box. So the Magic Keyboard is protected by a little piece of plastic that we'll pull off in just a second. So holding it in my hands right now, it isn't too heavy to me. But of course, once it's on the iPad, it is going to be really, really heavy. So let's go ahead and take this plastic off and get it on my iPad. So it does have an Apple logo on the back of it, and it has the camera cutout. Of course, the camera cutout is the square for the new iPad, but it will fit the old one as well, just because the camera's in the same spot. So opening it up for the first time, you are presented with the literature packet. Inside this packet should be the warranty information, how to use the device. So it does tell you how to place your device in and use the different angles. It does actually look like it has a couple of mis a couple of different angles. We'll test that out in just a second. Also, we do have pass-through USB-C charging on it. So whenever your iPad is docked with the smart connector, you can still charge your iPad on the sides and have your USB port on the actual iPad itself freed up. So regulatory information and the Apple one year limited warranty. Surprisingly, you do not get Apple stickers with accessories, so those will not be in the box at all. So you do actually have the actual clicky trackpad on this device. Unlike the MacBooks where it's like a fake click, this one is an actual clicking trackpad itself. You do get the keyboards as well, which kind of feels similar to my MacBook Pro. I do have a 2015 MacBook Pro, so it should be fairly similar to that. So to put the iPad on the device itself, you simply just snap it right in place. So once on the device, you will be presented with the backlit keyboard. So this is a fully backlit keyboard on the iPad and the Magic Keyboard. Once you do connect it to the smart connector, there is no pairing, it automatically detects that it's on. And then once it's on, you're able to use it right away. So with that being said, as Apple stated in the ad, this Magic Keyboard is pretty much like the iPad is floating on top of it. So taking a look at the side, I know the camera angle is kind of weird, sorry about that. But the iPad kind of just gives a little gap between the keyboard itself and the actual device. So yeah. So I don't know all the option keys just yet, but it is pretty similar to the MacBook. So swiping it with four fingers, it will get you to your multitasking or to go home. So you're swiping down with two fingers brings you the search bar. Once you go into a web browser, you are able to use it just kind of similar like the MacBook itself. So swiping down brings swiping up brings you down, swiping down brings you up, and of course clicking is clicking. Let me see how good it is at typing. 
So texting out the keyboard to type, it feels really similar to my MacBook. So pretty much it's gonna be like the MacBook like quality, but it's gonna be an iPad itself. So you will have that touch screen on there. And of course you won't be able to run certain Mac apps just because it is an iPad and iPad OS. But overall, it still is a pretty nice device. So yeah, with that being said, I do have the Apple Pencil, of course. You could still charge it. It goes right on the top of the iPad as Apple intended. And then once whenever I'm all done with it, I can close it up and take it on the go. So taking a look at the iPad in it really quickly, you can see that your sides are exposed. So if you're scared about scratching it, I recommend getting a sleeve just to sl slide it in if you're taking it somewhere, but it should protect the front and back overall. So on the right side, you do have the USB-C port on the left side, you do have nothing over here. On the back, of course, the bottom of the iPad, USB-C port again, my antenna band for my LTE. So you do have the Apple Pencil charging dock and the volume buttons as well. And then on the back, you do have the camera fully operatable. Ooh, it actually is pretty nice to lift up. So lifting it up, it actually doesn't lift it at all. And putting it into the angle mode actually doesn't do anything as well. So it is pretty nice. So yeah. So that's going to be it for me on the Magic Keyboard. Just because it is a keyboard, of course, everyone else, other YouTubers do go in full depth on it. I will do that later on. Once I get to use it a little bit more, tell you guys how I like it and everything. But yeah, you're able to use your iPad like it should. I believe this is a pretty nice device just because if you do have the iPad Pro 2018 or 2020 model, of course they work with both. It is a pretty nice device. So if you're wondering how you're going to draw on it to use the Apple Pencil, of course you can use it on the keyboard itself. Or you could just pop the iPad right off of it and it is pretty easy to take the iPad off and you're able to draw on your iPad itself. But I'm going to leave that on there just because I did return my other case. But other than that, I hope to see you guys in the next video. And I'll let you guys know how I like the Magic Keyboard. If you want to follow me on my socials, I'll be posting about them on there as well. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.